My seventh grade granddaughter called me the other night and asked me to come over and help her with a math problem, and so I did, and it turns out to be a pretty interesting problem, so I wanted to show it to you. I'm going to call it the brownie problem, and here's the situation. There's three friends that are going to get together and bake a pan full of brownies. So what happens is that only two of the friends show up and the third friend is late, so the two friends go ahead and they make the pan of brownies. Then the third friend still doesn't show up, so they say to themselves, look, let's divide this up into thirds. Each of us will eat one third and we'll leave one third for the person for when they get here. So they go ahead and they divide the pan of brownies up into thirds and each of them eats one third of the pan of brownies and then they leave a third for their third friend that hasn't shown up yet. So some time goes by, they're still hungry, the third friend hasn't show, shown up, so they say to themselves, look, let's take that part that we left for the third person, we'll divide it up into thirds, and so they do that, and then they each eat one of those thirds, and leave this part for the third friend that doesn't show up. Okay, that friend still doesn't show up, they're still hungry, so they say, okay, look, let's take that part that's left, we'll divide it up into thirds, and we'll each eat one of those thirds. So then the question is this, um, can you write an expression or an equation that describes how much of the brownies have been eaten by those two people? So we look at the blue part right here and we see that, well, they started off by eating two thirds of the whole pan of brownies. Okay, then they ate a little more after that and what they ate was the part that's in red right here. Well, that part is two thirds of what was left after they did their first eating of the two big one-thirds. So what's left over here, what they ate in red, is two-thirds of one-third of the whole thing. And then the last time that they do it up here, again, they eat two-thirds, but two-thirds of what? Well, two-thirds of one-third of one-third. So this is like one ninth right here. So you can say to yourself, okay, if I can't quite see the one third times one third, I ask myself, how much of the whole thing is this? Well, let's just divide it up completely. And then you can see that what we have is nine equal parts. And this part right here was one ninth, which is one third times one third. So they ate two thirds of one ninth of the whole thing. Now, the, the instructions are also, if this goes on forever, how much do they eat? And that just means that we form an infinite series right here, just a series of terms, and we try to look for this pattern and see if we can extend it like that. So kind of an interesting problem. Um, I told my seventh grade granddaughter, look, a problem like this, it should be fun to work, but you should never worry about getting the right answer or even getting the problem completely done, or even having any idea how to do it, especially in seventh grade, because this is really an infinite series right here in mathematics, and maybe in seventh grade we're not quite ready for that. But I like the problem myself, and then I extended it a little bit for her, and I'll show you that in a couple of other videos.